What's the power of having hope? I was having a conversation with someone the other day about how powerful hope is. And it reminded me of a study that was done by Dr. Richter at Harvard University in the 1950s. A super interesting study. And what they did was they took these animals, they took rats, they placed them inside of a tub. And it's kind of a brutal experiment, um, but this is really what happens in research. So they took this tub of water, they placed the rats inside of the water and looked at how long they would swim before they just gave up and drowned, right? If you had to guess, how long do you think the rats lasted, right? They're swimming, they're not great swimmers, but they're trying to swim for their life. And how long do you think they lasted? Well, since they're not great swimmers, at about the 16 minute mark, 15 to 16 minutes, is when most of the rats on average gave up. But right before they gave up and started sinking to the bottom, the researchers grabbed them out, took them out of the tank, dried them off, took care of them, and made sure that they were okay, right? So these rats literally thought they were going to die. They were swimming in the middle of nowhere, and right before they lost all hope, boom, the researchers grabbed them, picked them up, and brought them out of the water. Then about 10 minutes later, the research took those same rats, put them back inside of the water. Here's the ultimate question. How long do you think that they lasted the second round? Let me know how long you think that they lasted the second round. They had just gotten out, they're, they're, they might be tired or fatigued, and they put them back in the same condition, right? Same water, same tank, same everything. How long did those rats last? Some people might say a couple seconds before they gave up. Some people might say minutes. The answer is 60 hours. So. The first round, they lasted 15 to 16 minutes. The second round, just 10 minutes later, they lasted for over two days. And that is a perfect example of how powerful hope is. These animals didn't gain a ton of muscle. They didn't gain endurance capacity. All they gained was the knowledge that when I know things are about to get real tough, I know that researcher is gonna come in and pick me up, is what that rat was thinking, right? The same thing applies to our daily lives, right? And I can't sit here and promise you when all hell breaks loose and things get tough that someone's just gonna swoop in and pick you up and make sure everything's all right. But the people you surround yourself with, the environment you put yourself in can help lift you up when everything else seems to go to shit, right? When everything seems to be going haywire, the people you're around will pick you up in that scenario. And so most of us, whether it's what's transpired over the last two years or certain situations that's come up in our lives, have lost hope in some aspects of our life, whether that's business, whether that's relationships, whether that's whatever you have going on, you've lost a sense of hope. And all you have to change is the environment and the people you're around because hope is a very powerful tool. It can literally take you from giving up in 15 to 16 minutes to 60 plus hours. And so I challenge each and every one of you, increase the amount of hope you have, whether it's you're starting something new, whether it's you're venturing on a new relationship, whether it's you're trying a new hobby, that hope, improve it and increase it by improving the people you're around and the environment you're in. So I hope that helps. Make sure you share this with someone to help inspire them or give them some better hope in whatever they have going on. So I appreciate you and I'll talk to you soon.